All right, here's my drilling jig. It's also my uh, second end flattening jig, okay? Basically, it's just a two by four, the eight foot two by four that I cut off at about five and a half inches. And then I marked the line at 4.7 and 5.3. And then I just cut off a block of wood and I, and I, and I nailed it. Okay, and so that puts the long spars in the right spot for um, drilling. And then when I got all them, I'll just unscrew it, put it up here, and then that does the long one. And then what I did, I, I just cut out a little triangle and I kind of jacked it up because my saw um, didn't stay at a 45 degree angle as I cut. But I just took a power saw and uh, put it to a shallow depth put it at 45 degree angles and I just and I just uh, you know marked out a third so a third here a third here and a third there and then I just ran down the line and it cut out this big triangle okay and then I just clamped it in place and then on this end before I clamped it in place I got it to where the uh, drill bit would fit right where it needed to be to make the spars the length that they need. And with the 2V dome, the size I'm building with the uh, long spars, basically I need a half inch um, from the edge of the hole. So it's three quarter of an inch from the edge to the center of the hole and then I just centered it up, made a little mark, moved it till the drill press is in the right spot. And I'm going to use a titanium drill bit because this is going to go through drill bits. Alright, the next point after you've drilled the hole is because you've got some cut ends and you, that makes the galvanization, you know, there's no galvanized where it got cut. You want to paint it. And while you're at it, you might as well color coat it. And I got 99 cent paint. They only had two colors. They had black and white. You know, most guys, I guess, use blue and red. But I didn't want to pay $5 for a can, so I bought a dollar a can. And so I'm going to spray the five foot ones. Spread the ends black. Okay, so it's drilled. They're all drilled. Now it's time to smush the other ends. Okay, and like I said, you want to make sure that you do them on the same plane. So on the uh, Desert Dome's tip, it said uh, drill a hole in your jig and put a 716 bolt with the head cut off and it's been rounded. Okay, and what I did, and I'll show you on, on the uh, on the one for the four, all I did was take one of my pieces of conduit, right? Because they're all drilled the same. And I just put my drill bit through there. And I just drilled a hole, right? And then Screw that in there. And then I unscrewed it. Now I got the threads cut in. Took it out to the uh, bench grinder and cut and drilled that off. Okay, so this one's actually uh, uh, three quarter, so it's a little too small. Right, it's not seven sixteenths. So I'm going to go get a seven sixteenths cut the end off, round it, put it in here, and then we'll show you how to smash the second end. Okay, as you see, I had to cut a little off the end, and then I had to inlet it a little bit, so I could wedge it up in here, right? And really, I should inlet it a little more, to have this come up a little higher, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I think it's workable the way it is. And then on the other end, 
I just got it kind of blocked up, okay? And so I've got my uh, spar, my, my uh, uh, conduit stuck in the, um, stuck on that bolt. I pulled forward and that's going to leave every one of these smashed at the exact same amount. It took a little wiggling, but uh, you barely see that tick mark. That tick mark is right there where it's supposed to be on the uh, on the arbor plate when it's pressed all the way up against that board. Okay? So now we're just going to smush the ends of all the short ones. Then we'll take out this block and do the same thing with the long ones. All right, so now I'm about three quarters of the way done. Um, after I got done smushing the other end, I just uh, changed the jig around, put it on the uh, on the drill and drilled them all out, flipped them around and painted them. Um, that's about 10 each. Actually, it's 10 and nine because I screwed one up. And I got to make 35 of one and, and 30 of the other. So I'm a little under three quarter, or yeah, one third of the way done. So, uh, you know, we're just going to finish this up and next we'll show you how to assemble it.